2021 is a very special art fair. It's been going for 28 years and during that time it has built up a reputation quite rightly for the quality of the British art that it shows. It is held in the home of spiritual home of British art. It has a very um, broad price range from a few hundred up to many thousands. You are really going to see um, a conspectus, a complete picture of the pictures uh, and the sculpture uh, produced by British artists since 1900. And everybody enjoys it, you can tell that. No, he does. He uses that. And I think he thinks it's his. I wonder what he's going to do. We'll see him tomorrow because he's at... Um, they feel very close to the exhibitors. Park. The exhibitors His feel close to them. Is, uh, in full so there is a family so atmosphere, is which is one it? of the attractions <laughs> of the fair. There's no formality. The last thing this event is, is um, forbidding or shy making for a new collector. The great thing about British art uh, is that it starts at every point. You can buy, probably at 2021, you can buy a print for £300. You can buy a small drawing. There are plenty of things for hundreds. I'm not sure there are many things for fifties, except there's a guy who sells marvellous art books. So at the very least, you might find a wonderful art catalogue for a fiver. an awful lot of the artists come round. I mean, Peter Blake usually comes round and has a chat and I've usually got one of his pictures on the stand and he'll tell me a bit more about it. Uh, I had a, a picture of a model's bottle and he told me the name of the model and said, yes, it was a very attractive bottle. going to get the best possible cross-section of British art, the art that stands up to be counted, that's represented by the major galleries, the most significant artists of their time, and indeed some young discoveries as well, which we always like to see. It's fun, it's light-hearted, and it works. People do buy.